going away. I, I'm considering keeping him as a backup behind Brandon Knight all the time. And if Brandon Knight ends up leaving, I'm going to keep him because he can steal like that and then drain a three on the other side. He's a beast. He just disrespected him. Disrespected Jarrett Jack right there. Jarrett Jack got, got to get some respect back here. I feel paralyzed. <laughs> What's up Flash Mobs, Aces Flash here, and today I'm here versing the Cavaliers. Really fast paced scoring team, excited to verse them, and you can see Anthony Bennett already trying to be nice with us at the start, right off the break. That's it's not happening here, we're going to be playing hard today because I want my team to, you know, be really tough defending team, and well, you know, we're not going to be nice with everyone that's coming around, uh, and plus it's a home game, we got to win, because our team morale is going down the drain right now, you know, it's pretty bad, and you can see they got a nice lineup there, the Cavaliers, but I reckon we could beat them, I mean, Murray Sevens is injured, so that might affect it a little bit, but Larry Sanders will never lose a tip, so just watch this, ready, ready? Bam! He's just got too much of a vertical. Too much of a vertical. He can't he can't lose that. And you can see Brandon Knight just trying to do some work off the start here. And yeah, so in this my gem series I just cannot wait to get some trades off in the off season. Uh as we miss an open shot right there with OJ Mary, very inconsistent player. Unhappy with him. Gonna probably trade him off in the off season. But you know, I'm considering some uh so some trades in the off season. I'm not exactly sure yet, but I'm considering OJ Mayo. I want to keep him for the season. As you can see, that cheesy charge cheese we just got there. Uh, yeah, considering to keep OJ Mayo in the off season, but he's not. He's not the because uh, he's not the most consistent player I've ever had. Uh, considering I'm trying to get picks, I might even trade him away during the season. You know, that's an option right there. But what I'm really looking for is a small forward because Morris Evans, he's really good and all, but he's 32. You know, he's getting into his years. He's already getting injured since we just signed him and he's already got an ankle injury. That That's that's what's going to happen l later on in his career. You know, that's what happens to people. And you can see him missing all of these wide open shots because his ankle is injured. You know, he can't shoot properly when he when he's injured. You know, we can't have a starting small forward like that if we even hope to get into the playoff runs. So, yeah, we got to really fix that. I mean, I'd, I I would want to start at small forward since there's so many in the league right now, but we can't really have that. As, you know, you saw Kyrie Irving just scoring right there. Unstoppable player. But, um, so we, we can only contain him, really. I mean, he's not stoppable. But uh, I thought Anderson very <laughs> I would make that, but, you know, he's bad then. And, oh, uh, what? We just absolutely failed an alley-oop. I was calling Anderson Verigel bad and then we just absolutely blow an alley-oop there. And you can see that Brandon Knight just getting the steal but then not doing anything with it, just throwing it away again. I don't know what's happening out here. So we end up bringing on our bench and, uh, you know, this guy, an absolute beast, as you can see. He can, he can go off pick and rolls really well. Great three-point shooter. I mean, I'm so excited to play with him through the season. But yeah, he's definitely not going away. I'm considering keeping him as a backup behind Brandon Knight all the time. And if Brandon Knight ends up leaving, I'm going to keep him because he can steal like that and then drain a three on the other side. He's a beast. He just disrespected him. Disrespected Jarrett Jack right there. Jarrett Jack got, got to get some respect back here. He got, oh, he is, he is. Oh, nice floater by Jarrett Jack to get back some respect right there. So you can see why my bench is amazing because we got people like Cody Walters coming off the bench. I mean, what a beast. What a sixth man. Actually, nah, we actually have a pretty bad uh, bench. I mean, we got we got Cody Walters and we got a uh, decent big man, but, but that's all we got. I mean, Carlos Delfino, not the best. I actually suck at playing with him, but he's not, not the worst either. And you can, uh, you can tell that... that Cody Wald is just a B6 man. We're going to have to build around him on the bench. Going to have to give him some players. Because he's just going to absolutely destroy at that position. You can see he's taking on Kyrie Irving right here. But I I'm sure Cody Walters could take on Kyrie Irving. The way I can play with him sometimes. I mean, no one else on the bench can do anything as you can see. Except maybe draw a foul or two like he did there. You know, we basically rely on the big men and Cody Walters to do all the scoring. We don't have uh, anyone else really. 
I mean, this guy can shoot free throws, but he can't do anything else besides that and get rebounds. And he can barely play defense either. So, you know, that's terrible. So, yeah. So, there, there, there's some trades and moves I'm considering in the offseason. But, uh, you know, I'm considering a big offseason because we really need to improve because our morale is going down because we're losing so much. And I really want the team chemistry to go up because uh, I don't want I don't want to get kicked out before the end of the season. You know, you don't want that happening when you're the my GM. That that's a bit embarrassing. So you can see Brandon Knight trying to trying to lock up uh De Della De De Dover there. Oh Della De La Dover, he's actually from Australia. I remember him. He he's actually uh he was pretty good, but uh turned out pretty terrible in the NBA right now, so yeah, that kind of sucks. Hopefully Dante Exum does better. But yeah, you can see OJ Mayo coming off the great play right there. That was an amazing play, getting him completely open. And that's giving us a 10-point lead. You can see we're on a great run right now. And they're going to have to call a timeout because 10-point lead, they, they, they got virtually no chance if we can keep up this defense and if they're going to play defense as poor as they're playing. You know, my, my motto... Uh, well, I mean, lots of motto, people's motto, but uh, NBA is basically, if if you can play good defense, you got good offense. As you can see, that amazing score right there, since we gave the ball to Murray Sevens, the only good play here this game. Yeah, so he's, he's, he's definitely injured. He usually makes plays like that throughout the whole game. But today, it was only at the that, that bit right there. I mean, as long as he can make it when it's clutch, when it's needed, then that's all right because, yeah, that's what we really need. So you can see they're actually playing really good defense right here. Like, I, they're really tight. I can't seem to do much. I mean, I could have shot a fade right there, but that was a pretty terrible so shot selection. And uh, so we, we can't do much. No one's open. I mean, passing terribly the shot clock is winding down so we have to take a bad shot like that they're playing good defense i'm worried right now i'm not sure they're starting to play hard maybe uh jack, jack was upset on the bench so they decided to start trying hard you know uh thank you cody walters for that play before you can see our lead was too much no way they were catching up so we end up getting the player of the game here with brand knight and we secure the win so you can see I'm going to play these highlights at the end of every game and also the stats and I'll just leave that with you guys. Hope you enjoyed guys, thanks for watching the video, check out the old video in the annotation below or check out Twingy Tech's apps to see some great apps by my friend Twingy Tech and go check out his YouTube channel as well if you want and like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and I'll be bringing out some more, I'm going to be daily uploading so better be ready for that guys, thanks for watching, really hope you enjoy Flash Mobs and have a great day. Adios, amigos.